production songs. Risk reduction songs. How can we improve risk reduction songs? What should we do so we can better use risk reduction songs? Hey, this is Barefoot Bob, one of the people making contributions to this site, along with people like Rob Greeny, Marla Petal, Elin Kelman, J.C. Guyard, Alice McSherry, Joan Bastide, Charlotte Flores, Hugo Hagebart, Brioni Towers, Douglas Patton, Kirby Clark, and you. Yes, we hope you, because this site is about much more than some people posting videos and others enjoying them. We hope to get your input regarding potential songs to add to the site, and to get a compelling discussion going of what constitutes an effective song and music video for risk reduction, and how the processes involved can best work. We're not interested in sharing videos that emphasize hazards as being oh powerful and people as being powerless victims. We're interested in sharing and discussing videos that are instructive and effectively guide people in the steps from initial awareness of a hazard through any obstacles they may perceive and being motivated and then the obstacles to having the intention to then overcoming obstacles to take action itself to make themselves less vulnerable to negative effects from hazards of all kinds. Now, one conceptual framework that some of us created for how we view the potential use of such songs, how they can be most effective for ascending these steps from motivation, through intention, through taking action, is here. We have, these are the obstacles, potential obstacles to being motivated, potential obstacles to having intention, potential obstacles then to taking action. And we thought that it seemed that some of the factors or criteria for making that happen would be that if the songs are most relevant and accurate to the context, if the affected people have ownership of the process and product of the song and video creation, if the songs add value to other risk communication tools, and if the song can be potentially used or replicated by others to address obstacles to motivation, intention, and action in their risk context. In other words, if folks aren't motivated to act presently, address risk awareness or how it's perceived. Or if they want to act and intentions lacking, address their response and act their efficacy. And if they think they can but they still don't act, address timing and trust in a song with the message that's accurate, relevant with process and product and ownership, with value added for risk communication leading to successful replication. Risk reduction songs. Risk reduction songs. What should we do? Risk reduction songs. How can we improve so we can better use risk reduction songs? But that's just one way of approaching this. We want to hear your ideas about what's important for songs to be effective for risk communication. Now, as you can see from looking at the site, this is deliberately the only video on the site's home tab. And only videos not elsewhere on YouTube will actually be in the videos tab. This is so that the videos can be organized into categories of some types of risk reduction songs in the playlists that we hope will stimulate related discussion. So please make your suggestions regarding any additional playlist categories of risk reduction songs to add and any songs and videos to add to any of these playlist categories. Please note that if you make individual comments on specific videos, those will only go on that video's hosting site and won't be a part of this discussion. So if you wish to contribute to our discussion about these videos and how to best use songs and music videos as risk communication tools, please do so in the discussion section under the discussion tab. And please mention to which video or videos in which playlist section or sections you're referring when doing so. We're really glad you're here. And look forward to seeing your contributions to Risk Reduction Songs. Risk Reduction Songs. What can we do so we can better use Risk Reduction Songs?